I'm Pastor M. L. Calvin. I'm Pastor M. L. Calvin, Senior of Gonzales, Texas, from the True Vine Community Non-Denominational Church. Welcome to uh, to Seguin, Texas, uh, the home of the Christian Fellowship Baptist Church, where the Reverend Leon Morris is pastor. We're here this evening for a uh, pastor's appreciation service. So we just want you to sit back and relax, let go and let God come on in and be part of our service. Amen. Come on in and be blessed. God bless you.
chapter of John. It reads in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the same was in the beginning with God. All things were laid by Him, and whatever He was not anything made that was made. And man was light, and the light was the light of man. I have read to you verse chapter, verse 1 through 4. Verse 1 through 4. God has been to the reading of your word. Amen. Amen. Let us, let us all pray. Our Father and our God, we oh, yes. Yes, Father God, we come to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Father God, we thank you for just being who you are, Master. Oh, yes. And Father God, we thank you, Heavenly Father, for your daughter and son, Master. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Oh, Father God, we call red, died, and rose that we might see eternal life. Master, we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for this day, Master. Yes. yes. We want to thank you for bringing our guests over here to follow the dangerous highways and by. Yes, Thank you for your traveling grace, Heavenly Father. We, we come, Master, just to share in your grace, Heavenly Father, and your love, Master. We come, Heavenly Father, no form, fashion, or show, Master. We simply come to raise and glorify your precious name, Master. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Heavenly Father, for you said in your word, ask him. Shall be given, Master. Seek it, we shall find. Oh, yeah. Knocking the door shall be open, Master. For we come right now asking, seeking, and knocking, Heavenly Father, that you allow your Holy Spirit just to visit us right now, Heavenly Father. Come on in the building, Heavenly Father. Someone just for a little while. Oh, yeah. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for just another opportunity, Master. Yes. Give me all the praise. Glory is already in our master. Oh Lord, we just can't make it without you, Heavenly Father. We need you every minute, every hour. Oh, yes, right now, right now. We pray right now, Heavenly Father, that this be a service that's pleasing in your eyesight, yes. Heavenly Father. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for bringing us all together, Master. Oh, yes. Father God, get us on one accord, Heavenly Father. Well, it's not about us, Master. It's all about you. Yes. We thank you, Master, because you are worthy, Master. You are worthy of all the praise and all the glory. We ask right now that you just go with the preach word on today, Heavenly Father. Ask that you just prop him up, Master, right now. Let him break the bread, Heavenly Father, that even a baby might understand, Heavenly Father. Thank you for what you've already done, and thank you for what you're going to do, Master. These and all of the blessings we ask and pray in the precious name of Jesus. Your daughter and son, Jesus. Jesus, name we pray. Jesus, name we pray.
each and every day. Yeah. Pick up your cross and follow him, he said. And do it daily. That's what we have to do. We here to serve the Lord. We gonna serve him in spirit and in truth. This is the end of our devotion. I want to thank you brothers and thank you musicians. At this time, I turn the service over to the Reverend McGinnis. afternoon devotion. Amen. Amen. And let us move on up a little higher yes. in our service. I have the opportunity to introduce uh, our worshipful leader for this afternoon. Amen. He's no other than the proud pastor of the Mount uh, 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 Macedonia Baptist Church out of Luton, Texas. His name is Reverend Johnny Richardson. Let us receive him with your Amen. 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 Let's just say amen. amen. Say amen again. We certainly, uh, we certainly thank the Lord for one more day. Yes, amen. 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 Thank you all for coming out. Uh, for the Pastor Appreciation Program, uh, April the 6th, uh, 2014, 3 o'clock. And uh, we, we, we're in for a good time. Please come to Church, 926 East, I mean 926 uh, 8th Street. The pastor is Reverend Dr. Leon Morris. Uh -huh. Amen. So we're going to go right along with our program today. So now we have a congregation song, Praise Me Not, Amen. Then we're going to have the pulpit devotion after amen. the uh, congregation song. And with the pulpit devotion, um, the scripture is going to be coming from Reverend Woods, and the prayer will be coming from myself. And then we're going to have a welcome respond by a visitor. Amen. amen.
Jeremiah, the third chapter, beginning the 14th and 15th verse. The word of God reads, Turn, O backsliding children, says the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of another family, and I will bring you to Zion. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you in knowledge and of the knowledge and understanding. Yeah. I have read Jeremiah the third chapter, fourteenth and fifteenth verse. May God add a blessing to the ears, readers, and the doers of His word. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Our wise and most gracious Heavenly Father, as again we come in the most humblest manner we know how. Father, we come to lift your name. And, oh Lord, we come to lift up your preacher, which has been pastoring for a long time. Oh Father, we know we can't do nothing until you come. Lord, we pray that your Holy Spirit would come in as the mighty rushing wind. Oh, yes, yes. That we all would be on one accord. Oh, yes. Praising and uplifting your name. Oh, yes. Lord, we thank you for all of these who has traveled far in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh Lord, we come praying, just thanking you, Lord, for watching over us all last night. Oh, yes. Churching us this morning with our finger of love.
Yeah. Oh, yes. It's good when you feel the joy. Yeah. It's joy I have. This world didn't give it to me. Yeah. My father, which is in hell, sent it down. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I'm supposed to be up here. I'm out of breath. But I'm going to give a welcome. Praise the Lord. Giving praises to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To my pastor, Pastor Morris. To Pastor Jennings, our speaker this afternoon. To all these other ministers on the roster. To all these deacons in the house. To my brothers and sisters in Christ. It's just so good to be in the house. Yeah, I can praise him. How about you? Yeah. I love to praise the Lord. Because yeah. he woke me up early this morning. Yeah. Amen. That's why I praise him. Yeah. But I'm here Amen. to give y'all welcome. Y'all know y'all welcome. This is a Lord's house. This ain't our house. We just come here to worship and praise. Yeah. Amen. 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 And if you believe us, we're going to praise him together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So on behalf of our pastor, Pastor Leon Mars, and the entire Christian Fellowship Baptist Church, we thank you. We thank you for coming out this afternoon. So we're here to just praise the Lord in spirit and in truth. So feel welcome. Pull off your coat if you're too hot. Pull off your shoes if your feet hurt. Because we're here to worship. On behalf of our pastor, we thank y'all for coming from the bottom of our heart, where yeah. love make a difference. Amen. Thank y'all. Reverend 
be on Mars. Amen. Amen. And I appreciate uh, uh, Reverend McGarity for giving me this opportunity to come. Amen. To participate and be on the program. Mm -hmm. Amen. I, I love, I just love to be here. I love giving and everything and because I love the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you. Let the church say amen. amen. If God didn't call me to preach after hearing that male chorus sing like that, I'm telling you, you brother sing out of your soul. Amen. If you couldn't preach, that song will make you preach. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. If I didn't do nothing but jump around and dance around, amen. That's how powerful that song was. Amen. Let us go to, I'm here for for a, a lecture, amen, and the scripture has been given. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 3, amen. Verse 15, we just want to read one verse. All right. Amen. And if you have it, say amen. 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 And I will give you pastors according to my heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Amen. 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 Thank you. To Pastor Morris and to our speaker of the hour and to all you ministers that assemble on the roster of the team, my brothers and sisters that is in Christ Jesus, I bring you greetings from the True Vine Community Church of Gonzales, Texas. Amen. It's just good to be in your midst. It's just good to be in your presence. And I thank God for this opportunity. Now, I must tell you that I didn't volunteer for this. <laughs> Amen. As soon as I stepped in the door, they dropped this one on me. Praise the Lord. Amen. Give God some love. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Now I know how it feels. Amen. When the guest preacher comes to my church and I drop something on him, I guess what goes around comes around. Amen. Praise the Lord. But nevertheless, amen. nevertheless, we want to talk about just for a few minutes, God looking for some good pastors. Amen. amen. God is looking for some good pastors. Amen. amen. Everybody's not called to, to pastor. Amen. That's a total different feel from the rest of the calling that yeah. the Lord Jesus has given for an assignment. And I was looking at the Apostle Paul where he was talking about the spiritual gifts over in the book of Ephesians. And I just want to kind of read that for, for a minute or two. At Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 11. And listen what it says here. And he gives some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors, teachers. Amen. Now look here. All of the gifts that the Apostle Paul has just, just told us about, notice that the last of the gifts is the pastor. Amen. He is the last of the giving of the gifts. But at the same time, that's the most powerful gifts of all gifts. Amen. And the reason why I say that is, is because this man is instructed to do something that the rest of the preachers and the apostles and the evangelists can do. And that is to be able to, to teach the peoples of God. Yeah. Amen. And that's what's wrong, I do believe. I might, I might be stepping over the line a little bit. But I believe that that's what's wrong with a lot of our black churches today. A lot of people don't want to be instructed. Oh, right. Amen. And, 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 being, and being instructed is very important. Yes. How in the world are you going to know how to conduct yourself in the house of God? Or how are you going to be able to conduct yourself anywhere else if you don't be instructed? Yes. Give God some love. Amen. Amen. I've learned that very early in, in, in my young ministry that if you can't sit down and be taught nothing and be told nothing, then you don't have no business trying to lead nobody. Amen. Amen. Give God some love. Praise the Lord. So 
Lord, after all of the all of the spiritual gifts that's been given, the pastor teacher is the last of the gifts, but yet still it's the most important of all gifts. All Amen. Right. A pastor is somebody that is that is capable of handling any situation. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's the one that has to counsel. Mm -hmm. He's the one that has to prepare for funeral arrangement. He's the one that has to instruct. When something goes wrong, it's all right to go to the evangelist, but the pastor teacher is the one that you have to come to because that is God's chosen man for the church. Amen. Amen. God's love pray. Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. So the prophet Jeremiah says in, in chapter three and verse chapter chapter three and verse fifteen, I give you some pastors according to my heart yeah, yes, that yes, will yes. feed you with knowledge and understanding. Mm -hmm. Oh, how beautiful it is to those that is able to receive what God has given us. Amen. It takes me one week right. to prepare a fifteen-minute sermon. That means I have to prepare myself to prepare to deliver the word of God. It, I have to meditate. I have to pray. I have to study. So all this comes under the, the teaching of the word of God. Yeah, if I cannot be instructed, amen, then I don't have the right to instruct nobody. I remember when I was in seminary, amen, I was, uh, what you call it, when you were the... In, when you get ready to graduate, I'm trying to think the word, you're the top of the class, or anybody know what I'm talking about? That's exactly it. I was a valedictorian simply because I was willing to be taught, and I was willing to, to learn, and I was willing to be led. Amen. You just don't jump up and, and, and want to pass and want to preach and want to teach if you can't be instructed. Amen. Love your gift. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, so uh, the prophet Jeremiah saying that he gives us pastors according to his own heart that will feed us with knowledge and understanding. Oh, how beautiful it is when people could understand what the written word of God says. Oh, how beautiful it is when you can take the word of God and be able to instruct other folks what thus says the Lord. I stop by to tell y'all, I serve an awesome God this afternoon that is able to do what he said he was going to do. Yes. And pastors have the, the ability to know how to love people. All right. and now, if you don't know how to love, then you ain't got no business standing behind this podium. All Amen. Right. Because God is what? God is love. Amen. And if you don't know how to love, then you don't know who God is. Amen. Praise God. Give God some love. Praise the Lord. Amen. And our fourth stage just was kind of dumped on me here, and I wasn't quite prepared. But I do know this one thing. Without the Without the pastoring of God's church, amen, we just not going to be able to make it. Amen. Uh, they, the, the evangelists, all the other preachers, they could jump and shout, they could preach, they could hoop, but when they get through preaching and hooping, I hope and pray to God that they say something. Amen. That will heal the soul. Give God the Lord. Give God the Lord. Give God the Lord. Amen. Pray to God. I'm going to get ready to close it out. Amen. The prophet Jeremiah again tells us that God has given us pastors. Amen. According to his own heart, yeah. that will teach you and feed you knowledge and understanding. Oh, yes. One of the best, one of my best passages of scripture in the New Testament is, is the Apostle Paul in the uh, 13th chapter of the book of First Corinthians, and where he talks about love. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh, without love, you just you just not gonna make it. Amen. Amen. Without the, without the preaching of the word of God, we're just not going to make it, ladies and gentlemen. Amen. But I stop by to let you know that God has all power in heaven and earth in his hand. Isn't that right? Yeah. Amen. Let's give God some more. Thank you for these few minutes. Amen. Like our fourth state, I wasn't prepared for this, but I gave you what the Lord has given me. God will give you pastors according to his own heart that will teach you with knowledge and understanding. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. That was great. Thank you, sir. Um, now we we have uh, brother brother Dixon for Solo New Hope Baptist Church. Amen. Then the pastor would come and other the service. Pastor Morris, Pastor Leon Morris. Yeah. Let us be proud. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm glad to be here. Everything so far since I've been here has been good. Now you see the brothers, man. I enjoyed that brother Chris. How did you know? But God is about love. The older I get, the more I realize it. And it's not just my household need love, and everybody need love. And we should meet one another as we are in his life, say, brothers and children. And I'm going to sing this song. It's for the world. If I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning.
but he cannot give them great direction because he's in that field. Praise God. Again, I'm grateful for all to see all of you here. And uh, suddenly we are uh, grateful to see that the Spirit of the Lord is in this place. And that when the Spirit moves, praise God, something is bound to happen. Amen. Praise God, something is bound to happen. Praise God, and please don't leave. Because we got some good few fuse, fuse out there. Boom. <laughs> Amen. These the Wilson brothers done cooked up on. And suddenly, amen, you talk about finger licking good. Praise God. Amen. And praise God. And his tongue licking good. <laughs> praise God. Amen. Praise God. I'm grateful to see Sister Morris. She just went to Clearview and spoke. And she back in time. We're certainly grateful for you coming and, and participating, and uh, certainly we thank Reverend, uh, Reverend Johnny uh, for coming and doing the master of the program. Praise God, amen, you have done a wonderful job, amen. At this time, with, with, uh, without any further ado, praise God, we're going to turn it over to both of these reverends, Reverend Senior and Reverend Junior. <laughs> and at this time, amen, he will take charge and further the program. Reverend Kenny, in his own way. All right, my brother. Oh, sweet. I'm going to give y'all a number two. Thank you so much, Pastor Morris, and the rest of the, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I will speak more in just a moment, but we're going to have a have a word and song from the preacher's choir on this side. Amen.
God made me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not who? Not me. But he made me. Yeah. And he made me who I am. My Facebookers will say because he made me. Doesn't matter what you think. Yeah. He made me who I am. If you don't like who I am, talk to my creator. I didn't have nothing to do with it. How do you say you don't have nothing to do with it? Because he said, before I formed you in your mother's womb, that means he formed me. Amen. Amen. Read your Bible. It's right there. Amen. We thank God for this afternoon. Amen. Have our hearts been blessed so far? Amen. Amen. We thank God for Pastor Morris. Amen. I have come to love, admire, appreciate, respect. I don't have enough words for him. Amen. Even Jesus called in to leave a message and tell us about, about more. Amen. To our worship leader, uh, Pastor Richardson. We were talking back there. I said, you know Michael Richardson? I said, that's my nephew. I said, that's my pastor. <laughs> We thank God for him and uh, Pastor McGarity and McGarity. Pastor McGarity, you know you wouldn't know where to find me. Now, uh, uh, I'm easier to find than Obama now. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Reverend Woods. And, and, uh, Oh yeah, Rep. Calvin. Amen. He did he step in and do such an awesome yeah. job? Yeah. That's, 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 I always teach at the seminary that you ought to have three places that you have word, and that's one in your Bible, and one in your pocket, and one in your heart. Yeah. Amen. So he spoke, and it was obvious that he keeps one in his heart. Amen. Amen. The, the scholar said that Peter and John didn't have a resume. Uh, they didn't know what school they went to. They didn't have a... But they said this one thing was evident that they spent time with Jesus. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yes, sir. Young, young Jennings over there. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank God for... No, now, there are two, gen, two junior Jennings. I have to say this. People call that one Jennings Jr. because he's the preacher. But that one back there, Vincent Jr. gets jealous if you say that. <laughs> He's an usher. And, uh, uh, yeah, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's all right. So, so we just thank God for, for all of them. And sweet home, uh, all of you who are assembled, and last but not least, uh, my wife and co-pilot, Sister Jennings. Hey, hey, hey. I stood up this morning and I and I said, said one year ago today, I stepped up here as a pastor of Sweet Home. I said, and I said, do you know what today is? And and uh, uh, we call her Madea. But Sister Shepherd said, it's my anniversary. <laughs> And, and, and then she let us know it really is. She's been married 46 years today. And if y'all if y'all don't know who she is, that, that's Webster's wife. Everybody knows that. Amen. So we have two anniversaries today. Amen. If you have your Bibles. Go ahead to, to Daniel chapter 6. Daniel chapter 6. I got my, my sidearm. Daniel chapter 6. And you're going to find something about 
Grab Moore's in there. Twenty princes, which should be over the whole kingdom, and over these three presidents, of whom Daniel was first, that the princes might give accounts unto them, and the king should have no damage. Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes, because an excellent spirit was in him. Right. Somebody say excellent. excellent. Amen. And the king thought to set him over the whole realm. Mm -hmm. Then the presidents and princes sought to find occasion against Morris. <laughs> Amen. Against Daniel, a court concerning the king. But, watch this, they could find none occasion nor fault for as much y'all can help me out with you, can I use my theological imagination for as much Morris was faithful neither was there any error or fault found in him amen I want you to just think on this thought somebody's going to ask you what did that preacher talk about this they say he says a pastor's spirit amen you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We want to talk about a pastor's spirit. In our lesson this afternoon, thank you, uh, these fine ushers, we appreciate, appreciate those gentlemen there. We observe Daniel being placed under scrutiny by his cohorts with regards to his character and leadership capability. When we were looking at verse 3, it shows that David, or Daniel, excuse me, was preferred above all the presidents and the princes because an excellent spirit was found in him. So here we see one of the great attributes of a good pastor and a good Christian as well uh, is, is our the excellence of our attitudes. All right. All right. An excellent spirit means he had an excellent attitude. Yeah. Why, why, you may ask, or, or what is the significance of pointing out that Daniel had an excellent spirit? Right. Uh, it, it is an attenuating question when we consider uh, the number of spirits that can be found in a certain place. Yeah. Uh, even now, uh, uh, if we look around, you will find certain spirits mm -hmm. in the church. Right. Uh, you're going to find some negative spirits. Yeah. You're going to find some positive right. spirits. Uh, given a few minutes, and I'll even see some sleepy spirits. <laughs> might have shook it off by now, but I'm sure on Sunday morning there are some, some Saturday night spirits. Yeah. You know, those spirits in a bottle. Yeah. And hang out with you all Saturday night. Yeah. And then follow you to church yeah. on Sunday morning. Yeah. But, but listen, I, I'm not going to hate. I'm going to appreciate because at least if, if you're going to be hanging out all night, at least you ought to know where you ought to be on Sunday morning. Yeah. Uh, 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 you, you know what? If you stay around long enough, I'll see some jealous spirits. Yeah. 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 Uh, these, these spirits are often surrounding pastors. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You, you know they are. Jealous spirits, don't, they don't like the way he 
preaches or he teaches. Yeah. Uh, I, I was sharing with uh, some of my sweet home members uh, earlier before we got here. I received a message. Someone said, I need you to call me. Uh, of this because I trust what you have to say and, and the problem we have is is where I go to church uh, uh, the deacons came against our pastor because uh, first of all he preaches past 12 o'clock <laughs> You know, the Bible says they, they, they have, have heaped them to themselves, uh, yeah. uh, having itching ears. Yeah. We won't hear the truth. Folks, they don't want to hear what you got to say anymore. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I, have, I have, have had a lot of uh, so-called friends do me a favor and leave me alone. I'm gonna go to the Bible for for re for reference and resources. They say, Jenny, we don't want to hear that Bible stuff. Well, I don't have nothing else to say. Yeah. 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 You got, got spirits of folks don't like the way he dresses. Yeah. And that's what a sharp dressing young man over here. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh, a jealous spirit. They, they, they don't like the recognition you receive yeah. uh, for doing God's work. Yeah. Uh, and, and dare not encourage you in the least. Yeah. Uh, 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 these are negative spirits. You, you know what a negative, the negative attitude is. Uh, you know how it goes. The pastor says, how you doing? Uh, and you say, well... <laughs> Uh, it, it's a, I, I'm really struggling trying to make it, but but I, I don't know, brother pastor. You just got a negative. You can't say nothing to anybody. Uh, 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 oh, pastor, please pray for me. My honest best friend, uncle, he got arrested last night at the club. Uh, uh, we, we got gossiping spirits. Amen. Uh, uh, pastor, you you you. About sister so and so and brother so and so, I, I think you need to have a talk with them because everybody talking about it was all over Facebook. And, uh, hello, somebody. I, I know y'all don't have Facebook, but but there's a thing called Facebook out there. And yeah, yeah, uh, uh, BBC and Yelp and and Twitter. Uh, 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 you know. Hello, somebody. trying to tell you how to run your church, Pastor. Yeah. Uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> I, 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 JS, I'm just saying. And, and, and these people don't show up after service. Uh, uh, they like to come in knocking at the door in the morning while the pastor's in the study uh, trying to consecrate himself and get ready to speak a word of life into a dying world. These spirits are designed to depress and discourage the pastor. The other Christians in the church. Uh, but it is incumbent upon us as Christians, especially those who labor in this bloody gospel of Jesus, the once crucified, but now risen Savior. Uh, it's important that we strive to develop and maintain an excellent spirit, a positive attitude. And so the text says that Daniel was found to be a man of integrity. Uh, he was reliable. He was trustworthy and dependable. He was consistent, persistent, and insistent. Daniel was prudent with his business affairs and patient with his work ethics to ensure that every I was dotted yeah, yeah. and every T was crossed. Oh, yeah. See, Daniel was the treasurer of the king's finances. Uh -huh. uh, and he made, I'm sure, unlike Judas, uh, uh, he, he, he had no ulterior motives other than to simply do that what was right. Yeah. Yeah. And so it is 
Here we have a shining example of a spirit of a true shepherd. Yeah. You see, a good pastor is faithful and faultless yeah. in the Lord's yeah. eyes yeah. Uh -huh. and in the eyes of men. Yeah. In other words, no one is perfect, mm -hmm. but his conduct was found flawless yeah. in that he was fully committed to the task uh, that God has set before him and he led without compromise. Yeah. Yeah. Understand? And I want to help us uh, uh, church folks yeah. uh, that it is not the pastor's position nor is it his option to negotiate with men as to what God has ordained and appointed him to do. Uh, uh, what does that mean? It means that uh, uh, you may like your pastor, uh, uh, but he's not obligated to be your buddy buddy. Uh, 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 as a matter of fact, Jesus told his disciples, y'all read your Bible on the night in which he was betrayed, he told them first, I'm, you're going to be offended because of me. Uh, 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 and so, so it is uh, that a pastor, what he does is he shares a vision that God has given him and works in unity with those that he must lead to make sure the mission uh, that he has assigned uh, is carried out in the best interest of the kingdom of God. Yes, sir. Yeah. Because of this type of attitude, Daniel's frenemies, uh, they sought, yeah, you're going to have some frenemies, uh, 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 they, 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 they sought to discredit his witness and empty, and, and, left, and they were left empty handed. Yeah. Here's a note uh, to my fellow co-laborers in the gospel ministry, uh, associate ministers, evangelists, pastors, whoever, the glimmer and glints of pastoralship do not come without a price. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Uh, nor, nor is it uh, accompanied with only genuine friends. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, but there are always people hiding and lurking in the shadows. Yeah. Uh, waiting for you to fall. And if you don't fall quick enough, uh, they'll try to pull the ladder from up underneath you. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's always someone looking for your demise. You, you know, when I started a year ago today, I'm sure there was somebody that said, hmm, let's see how long that lasts. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, somebody. to his own heart. Uh, he equips pastors with a new heart and with a right spirit. He gives us a heart to love the unlovable, uh, to pray for the despicable, uh, to bless those who curse us and, and serve the unpreferable. Uh, uh, we have to have uh, the heart that God has given us uh, because if we don't have the heart that God has given us, uh, I promise you, all of us will be unemployed. Yeah. Yeah. Daniel's character and witness was likened unto the servant Job, who God himself testified was perfect in his faith toward God. Yeah. And after Satan attacked his livelihood and his sons attacked his finances and even his body, uh, uh, the Bible says in Job chapter 2 verse 1 that Satan came to present himself because he had no failure to present in Job uh, because Job was faithful and so it is that Daniel uh, that his greatest weakness watch this was in fact his greatest strength what was his weakness well Daniel had a praying spirit and he had a praising spirit he prayed and gave thanks to the Lord and he was consistent. Yeah. Understand that a pastor must have a praying spirit. Uh, prayer is how we get our instructions from God yeah. to lead God's people in the way that God would have you to go. Uh, uh, anyone without a prayer life also lacks the power to preserve and forfeits their authority to accomplish what God desires for us all. Yeah. If we don't have a prayer life, we are defeated because we do not pray. Right. Uh, God requires us in his word to pray without ceasing. Yes, in Ephesians chapter 6, uh, it tells us, and I teach this at Sweet Home, uh, to pray one for another yeah. and then pray for your pastor. Yeah. Yeah. Some of 
us looking for a word from the Lord yeah. Yeah. and sit up in church with our arms folded and, yeah. and our faces frowned up yeah. and, and have the nerve to say he ain't said nothing yeah. but have you asked the Lord to give him something to speak to you about yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. are y'all gonna pray with me yeah. uh, uh, prayer is both making our request known to God and receiving directions from God uh, uh, the Bible says in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Uh, uh, prayer and supplication are humble submittance to the will of God. Uh, it is to capitulate, uh, to concede, to surrender all that we have to the Lord. Uh, uh, Jesus said it simply like this, uh, uh, thy will be done. Yeah. Now the note to observe is that Though the law of Medi changed, uh, uh, Daniel did not change. Uh, he had a right spirit. Uh, uh, he dared not change. Listen closely. He dared not change to conform to this world, uh, nor to the will of those who envied him. Uh, uh, but he, he, he stayed steadfast, uh, unmovable, and always abounding in the work of the Lord. Uh, you see, a right attitude is necessary to stand against the will wickedness of the devil. That's why it's important that you put on the whole armor of God. Yeah. Uh, so that you can stand against the adversary. Uh, uh, that, 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 that we be always equipped to resist the devil that he may flee from you. Uh, I've even taken it a step further. Uh, as we all, we don't want to just resist the devil, but, but we're pursuing after him. Yeah. Uh, now, now you ask me, why would you chase after the devil? Because the Bible says he come to kill, steal, and destroy. Uh, and if he hadn't killed you and destroyed you and he's running from you, he stole something. You better go get it. Be <laughs> steadfast, unmovable, and abound, knowing that your labor is not in vain. Daniel was forever prayerful. And he was in the world, but he was not of the world. So in the face uh, adversity when he knew that the law was in place. Daniel did what was common to him. Yeah. Yeah. He prayed. Yeah. 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 He prayed about the situation yeah. and the tribulation yeah. that he knew he was about to face. Yeah. And family, may I ask uh, where can we be found when faced with adversity trials and tribulations? Uh, uh, what will we do when we must fight temptation. Uh, uh, when the world approves of ungodly relationships and ungodly behavior, uh, who will stand for righteousness? So when the government approved the ban on prayer in school uh, and some public places, uh, are you willing to pray anyhow? Or do we flex and go with the flow uh, so that we don't offend folks uh, and, 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 and ripple the flow of cesspools of religious freedom. Uh, uh, Daniel not only prayed, but he gave thanks and praises to God uh, to show that he was not bound by any law. Uh, and he did, they declared the abandonment of prayer uh, and the pose of sovereignty of God. Uh, I'm telling you now, uh, you got to keep talking. As a matter of fact, the worse it gets, the more you ought to pray. Amen, amen, amen. Finally, we received testimony from Darius. Watch this. Uh, now, Darius was not a Jew. Uh, uh -huh. uh, and, and, and Darius was, was not a believer of God. But Darius himself uh, uh, gave a testimony about Daniel's commitment to God. Uh, uh, in verse number 16 and again in verse number 20, uh, uh, Daniel is condemned to the lion's den. Uh, but Darius says to Daniel, your God who you serve continually. But, uh, let me ask you, does the world have a testimony about your commitment to God? Uh, uh, it says he will deliver you from these lying lions. Uh, I know it didn't say that. It said lions. But I'm telling you now, there's some lying lions uh, that God will deliver you from. Uh, Daniel was in this predicament because of some lying lions. Huh? Uh, and, and I know you might find it hard, but, but one of the pastor's biggest enemies is the lying tongue which cannot be tamed. Yeah. If people can't find something to accuse him of, uh, uh, then they're going to make up something. Yeah. Right about it? Uh, and, and so it was in this case that there was no fault found in Daniel. Like, and so the law was 
was established to make Daniel appear, yeah. or I said to make him appear as one who was unfaithful to the king. Yeah. Uh, but as a result, Daniel was cast into a den of hungry, ferocious lions. Yeah. But wait, uh -huh. what is this? Yeah. Uh, verse number 22 says, Daniel testified uh, uh, that an angel of the Lord hushed the mouths of the lions. Yeah. Uh, because Daniel's faith was tried against him. Uh, he prayed and looked into the bitter cup uh, of pastoral ship. Uh, said, Father, uh, if it be thy will, uh, remove this cup from me. Uh, I feel my help now. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, it's not my will. Uh, you, did you hear that? Uh, it's not my will. Uh, every Sunday morning I've learned, Pastor, uh, every Sunday morning uh, Every ever Wednesday night, uh, every other Saturday, uh, and every other day throughout the week, uh, the Lord says, Jennings, get up. Uh, get your family together. Uh, I want you to pack out 50, 60 miles uh, down there in Little Seguin. Uh, sometime I don't feel like it. Uh, sometime my health is waning. Uh, sometime my head is hurting. Uh, sometime my back is hurting. Uh, sometime I'm just so tired. Uh, don't want to get up and move, but not my will, but thine be done. And in my weakness, he gives me strength. And so I get on up. Jesus said, not my will, but thine be done. We've been through some trials and some tribulations, but he was tried from vicious courtroom to vicious courtroom. Marched down the halls of Praetorium with 39 times, flesh dangling from his body, made the trail up 
the Via Dolorosa, 90 or 26 miles with a 100 pound crossbeam on his shoulders, but he kept on pressing. I believe he was tired, but he said to himself, I don't feel no way tired. He had carry on his mind. Oh, King, live forever. The Bible says he was hung up on Calvary's hill. He had nails in his hands. Well, what does that mean, Pastor? Sometimes you're going to be crucified. Sometimes you're going to be whipped. Sometimes you're going to be talked about. Sometimes you're going to be spit at and spit on. But keep pressing on the Calvary because there's room at the cross. And that's good news. Why is that good news? Because I heard him say, Father, forgive them for they know what they do. Uh, uh, that's good news uh, because I heard him say to somebody like me uh, wasn't fit for heaven uh, and wasn't fit to die uh, but this day uh, shalt thou be with me in paradise. Well, uh, he bowed his head in the locks of his shoulders uh, and he died. Uh, Matthew said he died. Uh, Mark said he died. Uh, Luke said he died. Uh, John said he died. Uh, he died was buried in a borrowed tomb but early on Sunday morning Mary came to the grave and looked inside and said oh king live forever there was an angel that said why are you looking for the living among the dead he is risen I said he's risen I said family Daniel knew that we serve an able God and our pastor knows that God is able but I want to know how many of you know that he's able. I tell you he's able. I said he's able. I said he's able. How do you know he's able? He's able. He'll answer prayers. Wally, 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 wally. He'll open doors that no man can shut. Shut doors that no man can open. He's able. He put the shine in the sun. Put the glow moon, put the blow in the wind, the twist in the tornado, put the strength in the hurricane, put the wet in the water, put the white in the snow, took a brown cow, let him eat green grass, produce white milk, but I love most of all, is he breathed breath into me, he's able, I tell you he's able, well I want to encourage you Pastor Morris, just keep on preaching, keep on teaching, keep on singing, sing anyhow, because if when you give the best of your service, telling the world that the Savior has come, everybody's not going to like him, everybody's not going to listen, but preach when it seems like nobody's listening, preach when the odds are stacked against you, preach and preach on, because he'll understand and say, I said, well done. Preach hell out of them and then preach them out of hell. Be encouraged, Pastor. And first lady also. Preach until God says, well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. If I get two or three people, if you know God is all right, say yes.
spirit not in you, everywhere tests come, you're gone. Because you ought to be able to stand anything. Yeah. Jesus was sturdy. So we have to look at the point. God always got your back. If he sent you. Right, right. Baby, come on and give us a, a solo. Amen. Praise right. God. Don't oh, be looking, looking for no book. You, you got it in you. <laughs> <laughs> you got it in you. Praise God. hearing a message like that. Oh, yeah. Praise God. Amen. Before you get in the line then, Amen. come now and receive the Lord as your personal Savior. Yeah. 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 Will you come now as we extend this privilege, this opportunity that you might receive Christ in your spirit. Amen. Praise God. If you don't have Christ in your spirit, you got something else. Mm -hmm. I, I heard Reverend preaching about uh, 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 either preach you to hell and then turn around and preach you out. <laughs> <laughs> so if you hear, praise God. Amen. Uh, you need some music, I'll come and play for you, sister. <laughs> I'm still waiting on the Lord to tell me what to think. Sometimes okay, well, what we well, want to say God. is not right. Pray God, just and it may not seem right to some, but I always sing what he puts in my head and in my heart. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Trials dark on mm -hmm. every hand, and we cannot understand oh, yes. all the ways that my God will lead us oh, yes. to that. Thanks, 
say amen? amen. Didn't he preach from his heart? Amen, amen, amen. At this time we come now realizing that we all can preach. We all can sing. But we can show enough here. Let us come now and give as God has blessed us. Because the scripture says that God loves what? Yeah. Now if you're not going to give it cheerfully, keep it in your pocket. Amen. So we're going to ask that our deacons come now for our for our offering. <coughs> All right, all right. Okay, keep them this in your hand.
they, they was having that service before I came on the scene. And the Lord blessed me to carry it on. Uh, we'll be having that uh, the third Sunday in April. Uh, we start that morning and uh, we'll be going through that evening and the whole portion of the night. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, this is the Lord's business. And we ought to be about his business. Amen. A, a, amen. The devil is busy. The devil, he, 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 he never lets up. He's on the job 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Amen. And he, 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 he's walking around now seeing who he can devour. But we got to stay prayed up. There's so much going on. But God is able. Yes, ma'am. Friday on April 13th, 3.30. Um, we will be serving at 2 o'clock. We Saturday come out, Reverend Nelson and the Calvary Baptist Church will be our guests. So come out of the church with the Amen. 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 Yes, 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 ma'am. I can't hear you all the way back there. Well, I haven't started yet, sir. <laughs> this is in your prayer. Okay. I hadn't said anything yet. Um, on the 11th, and that's Friday, uh, the uh, winner and minister and deacon wise and the uh, earth board, uh, we are having a fish fry. It will be from 10 to 2 or uh, it will continue if people are constantly calm. But we had that date, I mean that time cut off at two, but if anybody that uh, wants some special order afterwards, you know, after two o'clock or whatever, yes, they can call to the church, uh, speak with me before they leave or whatever, and we can arrange whatever your heart desires. Amen. And then pay for $8. And we're having um, potato salad and coast, no, we don't have coast salad. Pinto potato beans. salad, uh, pinto beans, and hush puppies. Hush puppies. Do you say yes, fish? Yeah. And sauce, sauce, and cake, and bread. All right, all right. Uh, okay. Hey, what? This church. Christian oh, fellowship, oh, I'm oh, getting, yes. Yeah. And we have sodas as well. If you're thirsty, Graham has some of those too. <laughs> <laughs> Any other announcements? Yes, ma'am. On Saturday, uh, April the 12th, we'll be having a choir musical, and that's at 5 p.m. Okay, all right. That's all your right. Christian fellowship. Any other announcements? Any, any, any other announcements? I would just like to thank all the deacons. I would like to thank all the deacons that came today. A, a, amen, amen. If there, if there are no other announcements, then I would pass the word on. Praise God. And I want to say I thank God for this day and for what the men have done uh, to host this program. And, and thank Brother Garrity for leading them into this worship service. Amen. And that was his idea, and this is what has come of it. Amen. Thank God for everyone that tries to do something. For the Lord. Praise God. All right, praise God, but praise God, uh, don't leave until you go out to the cafeteria. That's why a lot of them out there now, they prepare a place for you. Amen. Praise God, it's uh, too much risky to go and leave here at Christian Fellowship. Amen. So, so you, if you got a poor team, you can take them out and eat them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Praise God. Praise God. God bless you and, and your travel home. Amen. We, we hope you safe journey at this time. 
in the hands of our speaker, Reverend Jenny. testimony and I know his testimony and it just makes my heart glad and see you're not one of those ones that say I might trust in the Lord when I get out of trouble but he said I'm going to keep trusting in the Lord anyway to keep me from trouble so we just thank God amen so God has been good to you amen we just thank God good to see you uh, On the internet, they got they got some cards we passed out so they can be paid. The ladies in the front. Online. Oh, eBay. That's a good one. YouTube, yeah. Praise God. You got to, sir. You got to. With the camera back there. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. All right. Thank you, sir. Amen. There was a young man who went to church and he put his $20 in the offering plate and he asked for change. And they didn't bring him his change. So they went on the choir saying, and Pastor preached and kept nudging his grandmama. She said, Be quiet, boy, you'll get your change. So the service got ready to end and the pastor stood up and said, All rise. And he jumped up in front of everybody and said, Wait. He said, I ain't been in church that long, but I've been in court a few times. <laughs> I know when they say, all rise, we about to get up out of here. Nobody's leaving till I get my change. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> if we'll all rise. All rise. <laughs> As I say, it's sweet. Oh, if somebody says something, we ought to do this. Well, the
Okay, I'm sorry. Bless the food. Bless the food. Lord, we thank you for this meal that we're about to receive. And we thank you for the hands that have prepared it. May it be a nourishment to our bodies in Jesus' name. Amen. Go get something to eat, y'all.